What is going on guys, we are here with Amfuga vs kick ass of a smoke and snake during phase 3. He leads off with Heatran, uh, Heatran is a really big threat to Amfuga. Um, he can switch into Greninja or Ladi, but like, I assume the Ladi is Scarf looking at his team, so he cannot do much back to Heatran. Uh, looking at kick ass's team, that's probably gonna be a uh, defensive line though, Defox Scizor, Spadef Amoongus to check Greninja, and uh, I think the Demus Zygarde. So he stays in, which makes me think he has something to hit this heat train as he does reveal Earthquake of turn 1, so that's really interesting. And it's probably a max attack because he got an attack boost, um, and he d he, gets, he does not get leftover, so I assume this is a Z-move Celesteela. Um, Fuga is now going to switch into his Landris to get the Intimidate, then he's going to be able to tell from the damage if it's banned or not. Um, it does 25, I assume, I think that's not banned, banned, it's like 28 minimum, so that's probably Z-move Zygarde. Fuga can now get up his rocks here as Kick-Ass is either going to switch to his Greninja or to his own Landris. Um, I really like Amfuga's team with Magnezone plus Celesteela. A Celesteela that cannot touch Skarmory opposing Celesteela and Scizors, most likely. But then he has a zone to get rid of those. Um, the Celesteela might still have a fire move, I'm not sure. Um, the, the, the moves that it definitely will have is Heavy Slam and Earthquake. I'm really interested to see, like, it would be cool to see if we could see if it's Cox who Crush or the ground move, but I don't think we're going to be able to see that. I assume he's just going to uh, save the Celesteel as a sack for later. I don't think it's like going to put in any more work, but getting rid of Heatron is amazing. Heatron was such a big threat. Media is going to lay the rocks up here. Uh, kick as I goes to his own land. Whereas now Fuga wants to switch up because he wants to keep this healthy for the Zygarde. Um, so he's either going to go to his uh, Greninja or his Ladi here, anticipating uh, rocks or HP ice from kick as a yeah, most likely rocks from kick Asa's side are going to come out here. <clears throat> and without Heatran alive, um, if, the H if the Venusaur is HP5, the Venusaur is going to be really annoying for kick Asa. Yeah, like especially like I said, if, it's a SP if it has HP5, because like... Scissor is going to be a defensive U-turn variant, most likely with Defog and not no one SD. Like, I don't think it's going to be able to do much damage to Venusaur. And Among Us is also not able to do much damage to Vino at all. It has region, region and all that, but like, I think it. Like, he kind of has to be careful that he keeps his Among Us healthy as well for the um, Amfuga's Greninja. <coughs> Most likely, uh, Spikes Ash Greninja from Amfuga's sides. I mean, that's the most common Greninja at the moment, Battle Bond. So he goes in the ground on the rocks. Um, now, Kick Asa is going to be forced to go into Among Us here. Um, Fuga can go for a spike, he breaks in the Among Us. Uh, let's just go for Dark Pulse. I assume that's Specs because um, French people are known to run Spadef Among Us. My man Cory builds with it sometimes. The Jumas has used it. And yeah, Kikas has friends with him, I assume. So he goes for the flinch. Uh, slash, he predicted the double slitch. Doesn't get it. The thing is, the flinch still kills from here, but uh, yeah, exactly. Like, I wouldn't set my. I wouldn't like try to like risk it. So he goes in the Venusaur as Kikas goes in the Grin. Not sure if kick I predicted him to Dark Pulse again, and didn't want to get flinched, um, but he has also, it's obvious that uh, kick I wanted to get region on his Among Us, so I get that play in that sense. So now he goes to Scizor, but if this has HP fire, like I said, um, Scizor cannot do anything to this Vino, and Venusaur blows it away. Uh, Scizor might be faster and U-turn out, the thing is, what is he going to U-turn out into? Um, like, he can... Maybe you turn into Zygarde, but Amfuga's um, Lanus is still kind of healthy to check the Zygarde. Um, like, if he U turns and he's faster, he's probably gonna predict the HP fire, so I'm thinking he would U turn into Zygarde or maybe Lando. I'm not really sure how Amfuga is gonna, uh, how Kick is gonna beat this Venusaur. So he turns out uh, the Landris on the HP fire, I assume, if he has it. On the Earthquake, okay, so he doesn't have HP fire or he. No, he did, I, know, he, I think he predicted him to pivot and he just didn't want to reveal HP fire yet. Uh, so now he uses a Celestila sack. Celestila wasn't going to put in much work, yeah. But that's 6% after rocks. He sacks it off to get momentum. Uh, it's also nice to sack it now because if uh, Kick Ass has Greninja's Ash and he would sack it to the Greninja, that would mean. Um, if you sack the Steeler to the Greninja, that would mean it gets the Ash from it. You obviously don't want that. But I'm thinking this could also be Scarf Grin because this team's pretty slow otherwise. Um, now. He's gonna go Venusaur or Magnuson here, I assume. Uh, I don't think his own Greninja can kill the opposing Greninja from this range. Uh, if he's Scarf Ladi, he can go to that, but probably not because he doesn't want to risk opposing Scarf Grin. So, like I said, most likely Venusaur or Magnuson are gonna come out here. 
Also, big shout outs to my man Ultra Balls, but who came through with the guest uploads. Um, I cannot upload that much at the moment, get some personal reasons. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to upload more the next days. So he's gonna uh, have to risk getting flinched here. And Fuga does not get flinched. Um, if he got if he got flinched, there, he would have been in a really bad spot actually. Um, now he's gonna go in the Landers here to get the Intimidate off. Unless he has HPIs as attack, but that's like really rare on Venusaur. That's like a CTC special. Uh, so now Fuga is gonna go for HPIs here. Kick Ezra smacks down the Landris. Um, now Kick Ezra has to go for a Z move to ensure that the Landris dies. Not sure if it's Devastating Drag or if it's the Z uh, ground move. Since he smacked down, the Z ground move would now work on the Landris as well. So we will see which, is that green, <laughs> which ground move is. Which Z move it is, is what I meant to say. But it turns out to be Z Tectonic Rage. I don't know why, like sometimes I just can't talk. He goes into celebrating a Drago. He eats it up, he's gonna be able to roost it off. Um, actually, he, he might U-turn here because he doesn't want to get trapped by Magnus Zone. So he's probably going to U-turn, but the thing is the scissors are super like, low now. Uh, so he's going to go Landorus slash Mag uh, Zygarde. Probably Zygarde because Zygarde gets a kill here. Um, unless this is Scarf uh, Magnus Zone. Maybe I actually use Scarf Magnus Zone and Snake. And this is also Scarf, what the fuck. Um, so that mo I don't know if he's double Scarf or if his Lottie is going to be um, not Scarf then. Um, Fuga can... Does he need the Magnezone for anything? I don't think he needs this anymore because the scissor is really low already. And he's gonna be uh, fine with the stuff like Among Us. So he's either gonna sack the Magnezone here or go to Ladi predicting he, uh, Earthquake. Yeah, Ladi is definitely an option because Ladi lives... Um, Ladi lives a U-turn so he can go to Ladi. Okay, Sex is Greninja, that's fine. And uh, now you can go Ladi and click uh, Draco. Um, I think this is like a soul to Ladi. It could still be Scarf. So Among Us is gonna be able to eat this Draco, but he goes for Psy Shock. He's like, nah, boy, not like this. Um, so he just wanted to bring. Okay, I understand this play. He just wanted to bring the Landers and range from Scarf uh, Magnezone. So this play makes completely sen makes sense completely. Uh, HP Fire is gonna be able to pick off the Scissor here. And the game just ends. The defensive lander is not going to be able to win for Kick Asa. Thank you guys for watching. I recorded a lot of Snake games last week, like 20 or 30 games. Um, I'm just not sure. I'm not going to be able to bring you these. But yeah, Draco picks off the kill. And yeah, I'll see you with uh, ulti, more Snakes uploads, more ulti uploads. Um, my man Ultra Bowl is going to have some guest uploads as well. Hope you all enjoyed, smash that like button if you enjoyed the content and peace out, have a fantastic day.